bizarre. Uh, speaking of bizarre, uh, how is Chris Angel as a, a friend and a, a person to hang out with and eat food with? Steve Lene is standing here, so I'm going to repeat to loud so the people here at the Apex can hear what you just said, and then I'll answer it. Uh, Matt asked, how was Chris Angel? <laughs> uh, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Um, kind of went off on some things about, you know, he's going to say what's on his mind. I, I, because he's the mind freak. Uh, he has a brand new show at Planet Hollywood, by the way. Um, okay. you know, and, and as much as I continue to say, and I'm going to say this in the UFC Apex Center, I continue to say that MMA is not where people think it is. That, you know, Dana and a lot of people are like, you know, we're here, we're at this level, you know, we're one of the top three, four, you know, in, it can be mentioned with NFL, et cetera, et cetera. I've now been at two events. Chuck Liddell on Radio Row, where people stopped when Chuck walked by. Joe Montana stopped when Chuck Liddell walked by. I was kind enough, or Steve was kind enough, um, to, to bring Randy Couture as my guest as well, and Mindy Robinson. And all of them, Chris Angel is like, oh, Randy, and hugging them. And, and uh, Mickey D, who's, who didn't really know about MMA, they're going shooting tomorrow. MMA legends are unbelievable more than I guess I thought. You know, I just think of them like because they're my friends. But here Chris Angel spent more time with Randy Couture than he did with Mickey D, and they've known each other for a while. So, Chris, but back to your original question, Chris Angel was, was very cool. Um, everybody that was in that room, now again, I can't say how he was, you know, out at the concert. But in that room, every single person that asked for a photo, some people that asked for more than one photo, um, he, he was very cordial and, and, and did it for everybody. So it was cool. That's awesome. That's really cool. And I'm going to go see the uh, new show. I don't know. I don't think it's called Mind Freak because he's moved from where he was to now he's at Planet Hollywood. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get to go see him next time I come out, whether it's in July or after. I mean, I think he's a fascinating guy. I mean, a modern day Houdini. Um, you know, it's uh, our era of, of you know the great performers, and uh, you know Houdini was obviously a legendary figure. So, in the future, people are going to look back on some of his performances and see it in the same category. So, you know, I think it's, uh, it's I think it was cool. I'd like to meet him meet, maybe at his next show. Well, maybe if you buy a ticket and go to the meet and greet after, you might or, get to meet him. Or maybe, maybe it's just as cool for him to meet me. Yeah, probably not. He did do <laughs> some uh, sleight of hand in, <laughs> in the dressing room with Mickey. Uh, there was a couple things. Uh, one, I will not tell you. But the other one is, so Mickey gave a couple people that were in, in his dressing room a, a, a drumstick. And one was a flight attendant from Delta that Steve met in Brazil. Okay. Uh, he reminds me a lot of you. Um, <laughs> not yeah, tool. He'd probably be a hammer. He'd probably be a hammer. No, he'd be the nail. He would. He'd be the nail. So Mickey gave him a, a, a drumstick, and like I said, some other people. And this guy was a huge, huge, huge Mickey D fan. Not Scorpions as well, but mainly Mickey D. You know, Mickey D from when he was at Motorhead. Mickey D at the first band. You know that, that he was involved in. So he gives him a drumstick. This knucklehead takes the, the drumstick, even to the concert. We walk out to the concert, and he's banging like he's banging the drum, and it's like the greatest you know, thing he's ever gotten. So then we go back into, into the, the dressing room, and Chris Angel's like, hey, l let me see that, that drumstick. And so he hands him the drumstick, and he goes, I don't even think he said thank you. He turned around, he went to Mickey D, and said, here, will you sign this for me? So he did a great sleight of hand by taking that <laughs> drumstick from Doug into his own hand. What did you see it disappear? It was, like, or did, did it stay in sight the whole time? Well, no, it, it disappeared. It disappeared out of Doug's hand into his own. <laughs> there, there's some other slide of <laughs> thing that if he could have if he could have made it disappear and then he never got it back, that would be amazing. Well, that's what he did. He he made it where Doug never got it back because hmm. he kept speaking it. Of speaking of motor. <laughs>